performance of the LACE index to predict 30-day hospital readmissions in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Many patients with chronic conditions are frequent users of the healthcare system and need to be admitted to hospital repeatedly, often within short intervals. A readmission is measured as an admission within 30 days of discharge. Over time, data from Scotland, England, the United States of America and Australia has shown that the rate of readmissions have been steadily rising. Hospital readmissions have a significant impact on patients' quality of life. They add to the disease and treatment burden, are a burden on the healthcare system and put a strain on hospital resources. A retrospective cohort study from 2006 to 2016 was performed, looking at COPD hospitalisations in one of our big tertiary hospitals in Sydney, Australia. The study included over 2,600 patients who accounted for nearly 6,000 hospitalisations. During the study period of 10 years, 2% of patients died during their index hospitalisation and 25% were readmitted within 30 days. We wanted to see why 1 in 4 of our patients were coming back. Data showed that 56% were being readmitted due to another exacerbation of COPD, followed by heart failure, pneumonia and chest pain. So the important question is, can we reduce readmissions? Numerous studies have shown that there are successful post-discharge care packages and interventions that can be utilised and given to patients to reduce the rates of readmission, especially in chronic conditions such as COPD. Unfortunately, there isn't enough resources to give these care packages to every COPD patient and thus should be directed to patients who will benefit from them the most. In order to determine which patients are at an increased risk of readmission, predictor models can be utilised. The LACE index was tested on our COPD cohort and patients were given a score out of 19. The LACE index encompasses length of stay, acuity of admission, comorbidities and number of emergency department visits in the last six months. The C statistic for LACE index was 0.63. It was moderately discriminative and had a better than chance ability to determine which patients were more likely to be readmitted within 30 days and therefore direct our resource intensive interventions to those patients. There is definitely room for improvement with the predictor model and hopefully future work will allow new and more accurate predictor models to emerge to allow better detection of high risk patients to give them the extra support they need in hopes of reducing hospital readmissions in the future.